Um, so I've been a firefighter for 17 years now. Um, I always wanted to do the job. Um, I went to school just behind the old pool fire station um, and I used to see them turning out to incidents um, and that kind of just seemed like a pretty cool thing to do. Um, so that was, I kind of decided that I was going to do that. Um, I actually joined um, in 2005 in South Wales Fire and Rescue Service because it was the only service that was recruiting at the time. And it took me 12 years to, to transfer across to Dorset and Wiltshire. Um, so um, yeah, it took a while to get here, but finally landed at Pool. so very happy with that. I still love coming into work every single day. I think that the job is constantly evolving and changing, um, but it's still the best job in the world. I still um, get an absolute thrill whenever I go out on the fire engine. Um, never get annoyed whenever we get called out in the middle of the night. Um, so yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it to anyone. Um, with regards to technical rescue, I would say that there's so much that you've got to learn in the job uh, coming in um, as, a, as a fresh new recruit anyway. I would say it's probably worth maybe getting a few years um, incidence-wise and things under your belt before you go to a technical rescue station. But there's no reason if you weren't uh, um, into your climbing or, or that kind of um, background anyway, there's no reason why you couldn't do it um, straight off the bat, straight from recruitment, if, um, if that was something that you were interested in doing. Firefighters can apply to come to technical rescue stations. Um, there's additional training requirements to be able to be a technical rescue um, operator. Um, so the rope course is uh, five days and water rescue is uh, five days as well. Um, and then the animal rescue confined space training and uh, bariatric training is done on watch, but usually accumulates to um, five days on the watch training. Um, and then there's obviously ongoing competencies that you have to maintain as part of that as well. We've got two technical rescue vehicles. Romeo 2 is our big sort of uh, high-sided van and that carries the majority of our equipment. And then we've also got um, Romeo 3, which is our Ford Ranger, um, which is just behind us. Um, and that tends to, that carries three people um, and they go there with the um, certainly the first sort of initial kit that you might need in, a, in an emergency. And then the two people would follow on from 18 Romeo 2 and they would, they would be the backups because you have the two vehicles going um, and then you've got equipment on both vehicles to be able to deal with whatever you need. I've been to a massive array of incidents. Um, someone fell down a wishing well, um, someone got stuck in a cat flap. Um, it's, it's just bizarre stuff that you never know what you're going out to. The worst ones um, sort of that stick in your mind for a long time and that tends to be harder to deal with. There's times when you, when you do come home and you, at the end of the day and you think, you think yeah, we've done all right there. We've done, as a team, we've done really well. So, so it's nice to be a part of that. So, yeah. you, you spend so much time together. Um, you have to have that kind of close-knit family while you're at work. Um, you probably spend more time with, with some of the people that you work with um, than you do with some members of your family. Um, so you've kind of got to have that rapport and that relationship. Um, and plus you go through experiences that you don't really go through with anyone else when you, when you sort of speak to people outside of the job. So um, it is nice to have that relationship and it's, um, it's quite a strong relationship that's, that's kind of not easily broken, so that's good. We do talk, talk about anything that's, that's particularly um, harrowing or particularly bad. Um, there's really good support networks in the service as well. So we, so we use um, um, TRIM, so Trauma Incident Management uh, um, assistance with that. Um, and we've also got Mind Blue Light and um, various other people that we can speak to within the service. I have absolutely no idea what I would do if I wasn't a firefighter. I've got no idea. Um, I still think it's the best job in the world by a million miles. Um, and I'm still I've got 13 years left till I retire and I still can't see myself going. So yeah, I wouldn't give it up for anything.